You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's a files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. But quick. You could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Come on, girl. Must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. <clears throat> damn Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! You 
done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Keep the door locked until the thing's loose. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Ready? Aim. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. 
Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. <laughs> Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir! Shoot the wretch! I'm ready. You're deranged. Ooh. Excellent. Ooh. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults! Uh, shoot me! Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Uh, for all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Mm. Quite too much. Nope, my sweet. 